So um, we're going to be able to go look at some real live longhorns. Yes. Steer, cattle. What do you These think? will be steers and cows. Uh, I, he may have some bulls worked in. They're very gentle, amazingly. They're just big. All right, great. Well, let's go out to the ranch and check out some of them little beggars. Okay. Sure is a pretty spot. Isn't it gorgeous? Hi. What a wonderful morning to see these. Boy, they're so close to your home, too. I can't believe that. It's a great deal. Well, I'm going to hop up here. All right. And I'll practice does wonders. <laughs> Just get right here. And now you could have a oh look at the size oh, of that steer. Look oh look at those gosh. horns on him. Yee. Something about those <laughs> old bulls. <laughs> it's starting to look like a longhorn with speckles. We got a friendly visitor here. Yeah. I think he knows he knows I got the I got the goodies. I've never been so up close to so many big animals before. It's hard to even talk about them because they're so incredible. Well, what's really amazing is they're all different colors. They're all different sizes. The horns shapes are, are a little different. I mm -hmm. noticed there's like two or three different styles. So is there a different gene pool of, of longhorns? Yes, they feel that there were seven families mm. from some of the early ranchers and uh, they each have a, a distinctive shape to the horn. Mm -hmm. uh, the most successful horns were probably those that scooped forward. Well, that was a pretty cool deal, being able to just stop. Animals come up, we get to do a little sketching, and, and now we're pretty much amongst the herd. Um, that, that's a pretty neat feeling to be able to just come right on out and do something like that, isn't it? It's the only way to really feel the power of these creatures yeah. and their personalities. And that's why I have fallen in love with them. 